Hi class, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be talking about a line of symmetry and how a shape, in this case a quadrilateral, can be mapped or reflected in the line of symmetry. I'll take the y-axis today as the line of symmetry. So what we have here is a shape, a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral, which I will call A. And I will be reflecting this in the y-axis, the vertical blue line. So without much further ado, let's get started. I want you to note that this vertex over here is one, two, three units away in the negative x side. So I am going to jump three units towards the positive x side. So one, two, three. This is where my first vertex will be. I'll draw it in green. Check that out. Brilliant. The next thing I'd like you to notice is that this vertex, this one, is one, two, three, four, five, six units from our line of symmetry. So let's jump six in the positive. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's highlight this vertex in green as well. Please forgive uh, the squigglies, it's my first time uh, uh, working on this platform. Uh, it'll get better with time. All right, let's move to this vertex. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jumping six in the positive direction now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's give it a green. And the last vertex, I believe this one right here, is one, two, three units um, towards the negative x-axis. That's how far it is from our line of symmetry. So let's move one, two, three in the positive x-direction and let's draw our fourth and final vertex over there. Now for the sake of a little bit of neatness, Let's draw with a straight line and join these four vertices together. You've got one. My apologies. One. Two. Three. And four. And this shape, ladies and gentlemen, is the reflection of A in the y-axis and I'm going to call it B. Thank you for watching.